Welcome to Brightly Storytime. I'm Lizbeth Kaiser, and today we're going to read a story called Who is Jane Goodall? Written by me, with art by Stan Chow. As a child, Jane Goodall loved being outside more than anywhere else. Outside, she could climb trees and watch animals and be free. Outside, she felt at home. Jane found that if she waited for a long time, quietly and calmly, the animals around her would feel at home too. And then Jane could see what they were really like. Everything she saw filled her with questions. How? Why? What for? When Jane wasn't watching animals, she was reading about them. She once read a story about someone who worked with wild animals in Africa. She dreamed about going there herself, living among wild animals and writing books about them. Jane worked hard and saved her money. When she was 22, she bought herself a ticket to Kenya in Africa. There, she met a scientist who was also interested in animals, and he had just the job for someone as patient and curious as Jane to learn about wild chimpanzees in Tanzania. Jane set up her camp at the edge of a large forest. Every day from sunrise to sunset, she watched and listened for chimpanzees. But when she found them, they always ran away from her. After almost a whole year of waiting quietly and calmly, it happened. The chimpanzees didn't run from her. They felt at home with Jane and let her watch them as they played and fought and took care of their babies. And to her amazement, Jane saw them make tools to get food. No one had ever seen this before. It was a huge discovery. As Jane got to know the chimps, she gave them all names like Flo, Fifi, and David Greybeard. She wrote down everything she saw them do and the questions she had. How? Why? What for? Jane shared her discoveries about them by writing articles and books. Soon people all around the world began to learn about Jane and her chimps. They were surprised to find out that chimps are so much like people. They can feel happy, sad, and angry, and they even kiss and hug each other. Jane's discoveries changed what we know about animals. At the young age of 27, she became one of the most important scientists that ever lived. But her work didn't stop there. Jane realized that the animals she loved needed her help. She began traveling the world to show people how to treat animals better and take care of the places where they live. Over 50 years later, Jane is still one of the greatest known protectors of the earth, the home that all living creatures share. Here is a picture of Jane Goodall. And here's more information about her life and the work she's still doing to keep the earth and all the wild animals on it safe. Thank you for joining me. See you soon.